hello and welcome back by offering discounts to customers it can entice your customers and drastically increase your revenue discounts can be time limited seasonal or it can be manually given so order has different powerful features to manage discounts uh, by setting up pricing strategy tailored to every business so today in this video let's see how we can give discounts to customers in order 15 point of sale so from point of sale dashboard you can find our stores so here we have our shop and if we open my shop setting so here we can see odo allows to add manual discounts uh, per line per order line so it's already enabled and odo also allows uh, to add global discounts on orders so if you want to add global discounts on uh, customer orders you you have to add discount product so already a discount product is added which is used to uh, model the discount so here we can see it is a consumable product and you can add a default global discount so by default it's set as 10 so let me change it to 15 so for all the orders made uh, in this shop the default global discount will be 15 percentage now let us start a new session Uh, by adding opening cash you can open session and you can choose a cashier so here customer came and ordered some product so you can add those products to order line and here we can find uh, the total quantity ordered and the total unit price uh, and the sub total and the grand total so in order to globally add a discount uh, to this order you have to click on this button discount you can see the default discount uh, 15 percentage that we have set for our shop so you can uh, either apply this one or you can change it from here like if you want to apply uh, discount twenty global discount twenty you can add that and click on okay so here we can see a line is added um, to give fifteen percentage sorry twenty percentage of discount on this order that is for this customer so here we can see uh, from total amount twenty percentage is deducted that is here in this case it's negative two forty two point two eight and uh, that you can find the total amount that need to be paid by the customer so now we can click on payment choose the payment method and can validate the payment and so we can find the generated receipt so inside the receipt also you can see the global discount that we have applied on the order uh, for the customer and now we close the interface and here you can see you can track our order here we can see along with the products that discount is added here so that's how we apply global discount now let's click on continue selling and see how we can manually set discount uh, for a particular product so when the customer came ordered some product so to manually add discount for a particular product that is on a line here you have the option uh, a button discount so let's choose a product uh so i want to add 
20% discount on this product desk chair. Just click on discount button and just type the percentage here. So here you can see this chair with a 20% discount. Now I can validate the payment and you can see that is added in the receipt. Again, if you go to back in, you can see from the orders. Here you can see we have a separate uh, field in the product line that is discount in percentage. So you can see for this desk chair, uh, we have added a 20% discount. Then in Odo, it's also possible to apply time-limited discounts. So uh, these time-limited discounts or seasonal discounts can be uh, given uh, by creating price list and in coupons and promotion programs. So first, let me open price list. So in order to view price list, first you have to activate the price list feature from configuration settings. So you can see it's already activated. So this can be used to set multiple prices for per product. Then we can add automated discounts. So for prices, we have two options. Either we can create multiple prices per product that is with fixed price rules by product or we can uh, make use of advanced price rules. And here we can uh, manage our price list. We can view all the configure price list in different currencies and with different price rules. Here we have public price list in currency USD. I've added two price rule. One to give 20% discount uh, if customer purchases customizable desk at the minimum two quantity. Mm. We add another line. Give a discount of 30% to customer if the customer purchases the product armchair. And you can add a minimum quantity. Like if a customer purchases three quantity of armchair, then 30% of discount will be given. And here, if you want to include the discount in price, you can use this option. Otherwise, you can uh, use second option. So if you set it as the second one, then it will show the public price and discount separately to the customer. Then if you want to restrict your price list to some country groups, uh, you can add that here. And you can also restrict to some website, publishing on certain website. And you can uh, make it selectable for end user uh, in the website. And if you change the currency, INR, then after configuring the price list, you can set this price list for your shop. So before that, you have to close the session. Otherwise, we will not be able to make any changes to the settings. Here I've already added a default price list, uh, Winlux INA. So here, let me add my price list, public price list INA, and change the default price list as public price list INA. So this one will be the default price list for our shop. You can also set uh, this price list as default for your uh, customer. We start a new session.
can see here price list. So if a customer ordered three quantities of armchair, you can see a discount is given to the customer because inside the public price list INR, we have set a price rule that if a customer purchases three quantities of armchair, then 30% of discount will be given. Then, then if you want to know more about uh, how price lists are managed in order 15 point of sale, you can check the link above. Now, in order, we can also give discounts to customers by creating coupons and promotion programs. So it's a nice marketing strategy in order to promote your sales. So after activating, coupons and promotion from settings of point of sale, so to save the settings. And you can find here two menus, promotion programs and coupon programs. So here we can create a promotion program. So already we have some uh, pre-configured promotion programs like for giving 10% on orders, 15% on next order. So let's open this promotion program. You can see 10% of discount is given to customer uh, based on some condition. Like uh, you can set condition based on customers. That is, you can give uh, this discount for some selected customers or based on products. You can uh, add condition like for some particular products, we can give the, this discount. Then uh, based on quantity purchased. So here you can see any customer can get 10% discount if the customer have got a promotion code 10PC. So you can see 10% discount uh, is applied on current order. So from here, shop uh, setting, you can see here we can add uh, defined coupons and promotion programs. You can use in this point of sale. So all of the three promotion programs are added and one coupon program is added. So now if you start a new session. So here, suppose a customer came and ordered some products. So here we can select the product and add to order line. So like here we have bed. So one quantity of bed is ordered. Now here we can find a button to enter the promotion code or coupon code. So just click on this and let me give the promotion code 10 PC that we have uh, set inside our promotion program to give 10 percent discount to our customers on any product ordered. So if you click on OK, here we can see a new line is added along with the product to give 10% discount on the total amount. So here we can find the total amount deducted. Uh, it's 1,179.90, which is 10% of this amount. And here below you can also find the active programs. So here we have one active program code for 10% on orders. Uh, which is already applied. And then we also have another active program that is 15 percentage, 15 percentage on next order. So 15 percentage of discount will be given on next order. So this is how uh, we give discount to customer using promotion program. Same way you can generate uh, coupons and you can make use of that coupon to give discount to your customer. So we'll discuss about coupons and promotion programs in a different video.
then the next way to give uh, discounts to our customers is by using loyalty programs. So here you can add a new reward line uh, as discount. So already you can see for this loyalty program, we have added discount 25 percentage. So let me add a product. Yeah, I'm giving discount 25 percentage uh, for product curtain. But this can only be given to customer with a minimum point, minimum loyalty point 80. And the reward cost that is uh, 15 will be deducted when this discount is applied. So when you open point of sale settings, here you can see already I have added the loyalty program. So now let's click on continue selling. And let's choose a customer. So let's add the product curtain. And now you can uh, click on this reward. And here we can find uh, the reward that is to give 25% discount to customer. So we click on this. You can see here a new discount line is added by detecting. 255.23. So now we can make the payment. So here from the receipt, you can see that a discount details. So these are the different ways in which we can give discounts to customers. And if you have any doubts related uh, to this video, you can add your comments below. And if you want to know more about point of sale or any other modules, or if you're looking for any order elimination or customization in your business, you can drop your request to odwardsideprocess.com.